Hey everybody, this is Paladin, and welcome back to another Pal Play Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we came across some caves after exploring with our our new claw shots, and we claw shot claw shotted over here, and now we're here. Um, the game obviously wants us to go to the end of that pier, but before we do that, let's go ahead and explore this area. Now there is something that that way I know for sure. Oh, whoa! Uh, tumbleweed. Sweet. Kind of disrupting the flow of things with this cutscene or this text box here. Now there's nothing over here at all, except whoa, except for this guy. This guy is here for some reason. I don't know why they put him here. You could just avoid him. Get off me, get off me. Okay. Come on. Okay. <sighs> come on, come on. Okay, good. We got that. Now just cut this. There we go. Just doing a horizontal slice. You jerk. Just doing a horizontal slice, then a vertical slice. That is definitely the way to go. And actually, there are a bunch of ants here so I'm gonna take advantage of that and I'm gonna get all the ants that I can catch because we only had well I guess six was a lot but we should probably take advantage of that with our fantastic net now besides that there is literally nothing over here over here you cannot bomb that wall you can't bomb this wall there's nothing over there there's nothing over here I don't even get why this little pier thing is out here it just doesn't make any sense to me. In fact, I'll prove it to you. Fly your beetle up here. And there is nothing out here at all. You can even kind of fly around on this this dune right here. And your thing won't time out until you get th th about that far. There's nothing there. I don't get it. But what what is... Th well, what is something... There is stuff over here that's a better wording, word choice. Besides this guy. Oh, finally. Finally, our treasure metal pays off. Sheesh. We hardly ever get jelly blobs from them. And you'd think that you'd get at least one from each, each chew, because there are so many chews inside there, but you don't. So you want to climb up here. Actually, we want to climb down here first, get our net out, because I'm pretty sure there are ants here. Yeah, there are. We, we, you really want to catch all these ants when they're right here. That way you don't have to grind later. But now that we have those, now we can go where we need to go. What you want to do is climb up on these, these cargo boxes and take out your claw shots. Go ahead and claw shot there. Drop down. There isn't anything over here, but inside, you want to charge up a Skyward Strike right away. Now, you want to come over here, all these guys will, f will fall, and you want to kill as many as you can in one swipe. And we got Jelly Blob from them. Where is it? There it is. Wait, what? What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh my word! Oh my word! Okay, you guys don't know what happened, but... Oh, my mind was just blown. Okay, just let me... Let me skip what he's saying. Okay, I pressed, um, side, or left and right on the D-pad, and you can switch targets! Oh my word! So I'm pressing right, and I switch. No, I don't want that. That's amazing! Before, what I did when switching targets is just unclick and reclick the Z button, but that doesn't work when you have a bunch of targets. But, wow! Okay, I should kill them and move on, but... Oh my word! I did not know that was a thing! That's amazing! Okay, if there's any secret... Well, not secret, but if there's any mechanic that I haven't shown yet please type it in the comments because the little secrets like that just kind of blow my mind because you know i 
I get in the habit of doing something that works, but is kind of, it doesn't work that well. And then when I discover something like that, it's just, I never know how I got along without it before. Just amazing. So we have a, we have a robot here, but he looks different from the rest. Now, obviously we can't talk to him because, also I had a weird voice crack there. We can't talk to him because he's, well, dormant, but we can have Fee bio him and it will be different than the robots of that we've seen before. This unit's designation is LD301N Skipper. It is the leadership model of this series of artificial life forms. The original purpose of the series of robots was mining. It is the supreme model of the mass-produced robots. So this one, we've never seen one like this before. Also, I like how he has like a feather. He has a feather in his hat. What we see is, but to see this, feather how, as it was before. Let's go ahead and hit the time shift stone. And there he is. And this is really, really sweet. I really like this. I like how it's, it's sand on, you know, the left and right. I mean, we've seen stuff sort of like this before, but it, you know, it's sand here, and then on the other side of the of the barrier, the, um, the the rim, you see that it's actually deep, and you can see what it was before. I just really, really like that. It's just very beautiful. Also, I have to praise Nintendo again for their water. It's top notch. Okay, let's talk to him. Also, he has a, a Jack Sparrow mustache, or Captain Jack Sparrow mustache. Hmm. Who are you? Bzz some human? I'm gonna skip out the bzzz and hums and desserts. Who am I? Uh, who am I? I am the proud skipper of the ship that perfect that protects Nehru's flame. Protector ship? That's not really a ship. It was the day of the storm. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. But then those brutes. The pirates suddenly attacked us. They were after Nehru's flame. My crew was imprisoned and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on, on the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were no, nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be. I'd bet my hat they turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it. Why not? In order to protect Nehru's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible, We, You say you've been searching for Nehru's flame? Oh, you need Nehru's flame to find someone important to you, Vroom. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew, Fweep. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. I'll help. Really? Well, in that case... Hmm, there's something weird about that map of yours. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart, do weep? There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat, so first you need to get get on this boat and set course for the Skipper, uh, for my retreat. Shall we shove off, Vroom? Sure, let's go. Alright, let's go, Vroom. Okay, so I really like how it's kind of a Wind Waker mechanic. Well, it's only a Wind Waker mechanic in the fact that you're on a boat, but I like the ocean part of this. My circuit sparked to life in the salt air. It feels so good to take to the seas again after so long, but let's see if I can remember how to navigate. Use the control stick to move, zrrr. press A while moving to speed up, vroom. press B to ready, ready the cannon, fweep. Then press A to fire it. Also, I started doing the bleeps and blobs again. I placed an X mark over the island where my house is. Vroom. There's a pier on the island where we can dock. Okay, let's go ahead and place one here, and so that we can know which direction to go around, let's put one there. Right, let's go. Vroom. Okay, so it doesn't have the best handling, but it's it's pretty good. It's better than um, the Wind Waker ship. And press B and you can 
tilt the, the Wiimote to say where you're going to fire. And also you can speed up as if you had like a stamina gauge. Well, you kind of do. Whoa. What's that over there? Whoa. That's, that's kind of pretty. I There might be some secrets in this area. In fact, you guys respond to me in the comments if there are. There might be some s secrets in this area that I even I don't know about because I never really explored this very much. I always just went from, you know, the places you need to go to the other places you need to go. So, I don't know. You guys can post that in the comments. And I know that not a lot of my viewers have played through Skyward Sword, but even if it's a year after... Um, I've made this LP. Please post it because I'll be I'd be very curious to find out I get I guess other people would I bet other people would be too. We've arrived we My shack is at the very top from The sea chart we need is in my shack sir, but you're the one who will have to go get it sir There are more monsters about than before so be careful we I can't wander far from the boat, so I'll just stay here, Vroom. Interesting, he kinda he kinda notices that there's a time shift stone and you know, he's in the past. Interesting. So you see this this vast, vast area. Now you see this zip line. Now normally you can't go up zip lines, and this is no exception. There's nothing here to go up even if we wanted to. Well we do want to, but you get my point. So instead, we have to actually climb this area. And I'm actually going to um, kill these guys. Ow. Well, that was a worthy trade, I guess. There's another one over there, but eh, might as well kill it. it it's there. We can kill it. I don't really care. Uh, we want the claw shots. And claw shot up there. Ignore these for a second. Now, you want to take note of that spire with the treasure chest on it. That will be important for later. We can't reach it now, but later we can. So we can go ahead and take them out. And these are P-hats. No, not... They're spelled P-E-A. So don't even think about posting that in the comments. You want? No. There we go. And we got a Stiku seeds from that. Interesting. Oh, oh, it's from the flower. Oh, duh. Also, I, I kind of like how it blew off half the, the cactus. That's funny. So this area is actually pretty straightforward, though there are a few secrets, I think. Yeah, there's one secret. Yeah, there's one secret that we can get. Oh, you jerk. Actually, come on. Come here. Come on. There you go. Okay. Let's go ahead and run through here. This, there isn't really much to commentate. It's just kind of, you know, this place is just kind of, you know, claw shot around. Also, I don't think I've said this, but... Um, I'm just wondering, have you guys had slow internet recently? I'm just wondering, um, because a little while back, like a matter of weeks or something, um, HTTPS address websites were, um, they updated, and the update that they did actually allowed them to be hacked easily, more easily than before. So, they are all updating again, like this or last week, so internet's a little bit slow. I'm not sure if it's still slow because of that, or if it's just me, but it's slow for me at least. So, this is actually a new Moblin. Target lock. Metal metal shield of Moblin. This Moblin has, has a sturdy iron shield. Only a few Moblins are capable of carrying such a large, heavy shield of iron like this one. I calculate an 85% probability that you can climb over that large shield as if it were a wall. So, just a just a buffed 
Moblin. You want, to, you can, you should only jump over the shield like that when, um, as if it were a wall, when he, it's horizontal like that. Otherwise, you jump off the ledge. And these guys also take a lot more hits than before, so you might have a little trouble with these. Also, the fact that they're on this, you know, this narrow area means that you're very likely to fall. Uh, this. Can, does this do anything to them? Nope. Boom! And this contains 20 rupees. So, the secret that I was talking about is, uh, here. You want to claw shot to these vines, and then you want to climb around here. And then you want to claw shot to the other vines on the spire, where the um, goddess cube is. And then you can get the goddess cube. And this is actually really stupid, but I'm actually going to jump on top of this one. Okay, I didn't fall. I was worried that I would like turn around and jump off, and then Link would like roll off the ledge when he landed. But he didn't. He's smarter than that, so that's good. And then we can just claw shot back. Not really complicated, just do it. Also, these vines are really old. If it were me, if I were Link, I would not trust those vines, because they're, they're like thousands of years old and they're dead. You want to claw shot here. And then you see that plant over there? You... Actually, first, let's take care of the, this joker. Oh, and I found something out. Watch. Okay, he's gonna shoot fire, and you can actually shield bash fire when you have the this wooden shield. As long as you shield bash it. Ow! No! Oh my word! Oh my word! I thought I thought for sure my shield was going to die. Actually, you know what? Wow! Oh wow! I didn't see that its health bar. And I didn't realize how much it just took damage. We have nothing to repair it. Man. So, that really, really stinks. Ugh. I'm kind of worried that I'm going to lose my shield. If it takes much more damage, I am definitely putting it away. Because this is a fully upgraded shield, and I do not, not want to lose it at all. Like, that that stink really bad. Especially how much this cost and how much I had to pay for it. Okay, so... Claw shot over there? Right? There's a Deku... There's a T Deku Baba. Oh, there's a Deku Baba over there which we can take out with the beetle. Wait, what? It was desynced. There we go. There we go. And... Let's see. Just making sure I don't miss anything. I don't think I have. Okay. We can continue on. This is really dangerous while I'm standing on this little ledge, but we'll roll with it. I can claw shot this. And... Whip. I keep forgetting where stuff is. Actually. Okay. I didn't want to have my shield out because it kind of scares me. I don't want to lose it. So I won't be needing shield bash these guys anyway. Okay, we want to go over here. Wait, what? Wait, I saw some. Wait, what? Oh, something over there. Let's go over here. It was kind of hiding from me, especially this chest, how it's placed. You can't really... Get down. You can't really see it. It's very well placed. Also, there are hearts on top of the cactuses if you want to risk hitting them. Though, something that I find really funny... You know how... I just kind of thought of this. You know cactuses, how if you hit one, it, um, it kind of moves around and dances? Well, I have an idea. 
What if we spin attack these? <laughs> uh, oh man. Oh man, dancing cactuses, man. I am a dancing cactus. Ow, it just hit me. Wait. Dancing cactuses, I love them. Dancing cactuses. That's pretty cool. Actually, that's really, that's really hilarious. I'm gonna do that again. I was looking at the lower screen, and it's, it's hilarious. Okay. Woo! <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on. Now, this is kind of annoying. We're actually almost there. It's kind of annoying, because... You claw shot this, and you have to wait till they come up and synchronize them. And also, they're not always in range, and you might miss them. Oh, I, I hit it. Okay. Never mind. It's not that... It's not that annoying. Okay, I'll take it. So let's go ahead and climb up here. Link. Let's climb up here. I think we're here. Pretty sure we're here. Come on, Link. There we go. Okay, gently. Let's gently get this. One. Okay. There, I think there are four on these. I think. Pretty sure there's four. Okay. And we need these, too, because we don't have that many. Okay. Slowly. These guys' knowledge of human pre presence is 90, so... You want to be very slow, because you're hunting bugs. There are two on this one, I think. Or there aren't. Are there any others? No? Okay. Actually, I think there might be one here. Just be quiet. No? No? Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and jump down here. And let's go in, because... No! <laughs> no. <laughs> I was gonna do the song, the Wine River song, from um, Super Mario RPG, but I fell. So never mind. Let's just go in. So we're here. You know, no doubt about it, we're here. We're at Skipper's Retreat. And... Man. Get, get off me! This music is really beautiful. I'm a actually, this is different from the music outside. This is different. <sighs> okay, just a second. I'm cutting back. Okay, I'm, I'm back. I just... It was desynchronized, and I need it to do all the sand to clear all the sand. Oh, we have a we have a amber relic. Okay, we have some rupees. We have some robots here. I don't see any time shift stones, so I guess we can't access them. Let's go ahead and clear this out. There hasn't been much to commentate yet. I just. It, it's very calm, and there isn't really much to say. Sorry about this. So there's a chest right there, which is good. Okay. You got the ancient sea chart. This old map details the area as it was long ago, before the sea succumbed to the s desert sand. Master, I've determined that this is Skipper's sea chart. Let's take it back to him. Master, look over there. That is the ship containing Nehru's flame. There is a 90% probability that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Thank you, Fee. I don't know. 
Something about that, it, it just, it just kind of hits me. That, you know, he and all of his crew members are no longer living. We know their fate. We know they all died th possibly thousands of years ago, but they don't. You know, we access the time shift stones, and they are a they are the same as they were back in their day, because you are going back to their day, and you know their fate as well. But you know that they die. Thing is, they don't. They don't know that their whole life becomes a desert, and the lushness and the trees and the grass and the water, and the ocean, are all gone. They don't know. And that just kind of hits me. And, you know, you see that he has this happy life. Look, you know, he has these pictures on the wall of his friends, him, his, his crew, his ship. You know, the fun they've had. Some picture that probably they took of him. You know, and then all of them assembled together back in the old days when there was peace and... They didn't have to worry about anything bad. And that just kind of hits me. And then you come here, and you're actually doing something for him, but you know that it is all for naught, because you're helping him in the past, but you know his future. And I just, I just find that kind of sad, especially in this area where, you know, everyone... In, I don't know, it just, it just hits me. I'm sorry for being kind of sappy, but it just kind of hits me. And it just, I don't know, just their happy times, they're no longer here. Dear Dad, good luck at work, Vroom. Dear Captain, thanks for everything, Zert. Yours... The crew. Vroom. A report, Master. I have detected a bug infestation in the upper area of the house. What? What in the world? What is this? Why is this here? I I never knew about that. Okay, I never knew about that either. Is there anything else? What? I did not know about these. Wow. Huh. Interesting how she says that there's an, there's a bug infestation in the upper area of the house. Is she talking about those cicadas? I don't know. Well, let's go. Let's leave this, leave this area in peace. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Well, let's let's leave it almost how we found it. So, I talked about that treasure. And we have two choices here, which I, I actually kind of find also kind of profound. We have the choice to either jump down here, or we have the choice to ride this down and give us the option of returning. Now, I personally don't think we should ever return here. One, we don't need to, and two, I just don't think we should. 
So, I think we should jump down here. And besides, there's, there's a treasure down here. So that's kind of what the option that the designers want to want to us to take. So let's go ahead and jump down there. And we get a silver rupee. Okay, now we can wait now we can help him out. Now that we've gotten his C chart, we can help him out. I don't know where he wants us to go. I'm guessing eventually we're going to go to his ship, but I don't know if that's next or what. Guess we'll find out next episode. Now, I'm not going to kill you. Okay. Next episode. We're going to go wherever he wants us to go after giving him the the C chart. I'll see you guys then.